sisters and we're bringing you a video today with a pattern review of the afternoon dress and blouse by Jennifer Lauren Handmade. Exactly. We were asked by Jennifer Lauren if we would review her pattern. Um, it's been out for a while I think since last yeah. year. And we um, bit her hand off. We, we did <laughs> because this one had caught my eye already. I was, mm. I was quite keen on it. I love the sort of vintage style curved overlap on the front of the bodice. Yes. Um, and so I was very keen to do that. Um, and as soon as we knew that we were making it, tartan popped into my head. It does that. Tartan pops <laughs> into her head quite a lot. <laughs> well, I just thought it's it's a very nice day dress, and it's mm. the sort of thing that I wear with tights and boots in the, in the autumn winter. and the winter. Yeah, um, and and I knew that I'd get a lot of wear out mm. of it that way. And I had in my stash. It's another stash buster, ladies. She's so good at that. I'm being so good, but my stash is out of control. That's why it's much bigger. <laughs> I, I've, I have this uh, peacock blue linen, so it's a cotton linen, uh, which I've had for about two years, and mm. I had two meters of it, and I didn't, wasn't. I kept. Getting it out for projects and it wasn't quite right, but this was the one I knew the media layer was yes. perfect. Yes, so we're very happy with the pattern, aren't we? I yes. think um, it's, it's a nice pattern. As always, Jennifer's patterns are really very well written. The instructions are extremely thorough. And everything um, went together beautifully. Yes, there was one little error that we found, which yes. was just that um, the bodice, the front bodice, um, you cut uh, two of them. Um, and it says cut one. It says cut one on both mm. of the pieces that we used. I'm, I've made view four. I know, yeah, I made three. Yeah. Um, both <laughs> of them said cut one on the front piece. Yeah. But the layout clearly shows two. Yeah. So it's But I think we both at here. different times had moments where we went, A. Eh? What? <laughs> cut one? Just really? do a quick double check. Double check through all the other pieces. No, and that can't be right. That, yes, I realised that you are supposed to cut two. Yes. Um, but everything else was very well written. The notches are all... In fact, there aren't any notches, I don't think. There are a no, few there's a pivot, pivot points. points. Um, but yes, there's very few notches, which means it's a really very simple pattern. There are two fronts and there's back. Yes. And there's pocket pieces. And that's yes. it. And that's it, yeah. So and nice the facings. Pattern. So facings. Oh, facings, of course. Yeah, you've yeah. got this lovely uh, sort of... just. To, to get that that point or that curve that like Rachel's got on hers, you've got these beautifully shaped uh, facing pieces which helped you to get a really sharp corner or yes. a nice curve, which is yeah. really nice. Yeah. So should we insert some video? Yeah, let's insert some video. Prancing around in okay. my garden. We'll so, do Rachel first. Okay, we'll do mine first just because so I, as always, have made some changes. Mm. <laughs> Not because <laughs> uh, there were things I didn't like about the dress, um, but just because I made it up exactly as the pattern mm. directed for view uh, four. four. Yes. Um, which is the curved front. Um, and it's supposed to have a box pleat on the back. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I tried it on, I also put pockets in it. When I tried it on, I found that the box pleat was just a little bit too restrictive for me. Um, so because I am a little bit curvier than Nikki, I just found that um, I didn't have quite enough movement um, around the waist area. Mm -hmm. So I decided to switch that out, take out the box pleat and put in the gather, which is actually intended for view three. three. Yep. Um, so I did that. Um, I also decided there wasn't really enough movement on my hip area to allow for pockets mm. so as much as I um, love a pocket in any dress I felt like when my hands were in my pockets it was putting quite a strain on the dress yeah um, and so I decided that I would rather remove the pockets because I wouldn't use them if they felt like they were pulling on the rest of the dress yeah um, the only other uh, change that I made was um, you might notice that I've got a little cuff on the sleeve here so this is a polyester Beautiful. tartan um, so it wasn't very expensive <laughs> um, and it just was very ripply when it was sewn mm. um, and uh, and as a result um, the the shoulder the edge of the shoulder was really peaking up like that and I didn't like it mm. um, and I tried to stabilize in the it? area and it just wasn't helping so in the end I decided that I'd put a cuff on it Could and I really like the though? cuff yeah I think I would definitely put a cuff on another one if I yeah. made one so it's lovely and you've used a, a vintage brooch for your I have yeah closure. so if you follow me on Instagram at uh, uh, um, she sews vintage um, you'll see that I posted a few options <laughs> for some help I couldn't decide Side. Um, but the overwhelming majority of people decided that I should it's go beautiful. for the vintage brooch option. So it that's looks what very, I went with. very traditional as, as a Scot. I yes, can, I'm allowed to say it looks very traditional with the tartan with the. With I the know, large and, and a few people did comment that and say that I should have gone for one of the more solid colours because it's traditional on traditional. Yeah. But, 
um, I just decided that I love the brooch you know and it's a shame to have it sat there and the good thing is because it's a brooch it's not sewn on so no. I've changed my mind I'll you take can take it off, it off. I, I would also be really uh, intrigued to see how a, a, qu a kilt pin would look there you know the Ooh, kilt pins yeah. that have got little, little I've got one of those I might try that out yeah. then, but the good thing about doing it as a brooch I keep poking you in the, in the breath <laughs> excuse me but um, uh, the good thing about it being a brooch is that you can interchange it yes so exactly. you could have two or three that depending upon yeah. what mood you're in whereas yeah. my button is sewn on I mean mm. I could take it off but I'd have to sew the other but one but I on. just think that this lovely curved area here is just the perfect place to showcase a brooch or something yes. a little bit different so feel free to mix it up and, and try yeah, a few do different things different. Um, one thing that I've just found out now from looking at the pattern I was just <laughs> saying to Nikki before we started filming that the only thing I wasn't happy about was uh, was this little gapey bit here and I thought that maybe that was the weight of the brooch because obviously it's a lot heavier than a button just pulling on it mm -hmm. um, then I had another look at the instructions and she does actually recommend that you do a little bit of invisible stitching from here around here to join those yeah. pieces together so um i may well do that, that when i get home yeah yeah that would help <laughs> so yeah that would help so um yeah so yeah i loved it yeah. and should we put some video of yours in yes why not yes. showing me prancing around the garden <laughs> and so as usual i just went straight out of the tin basically i yeah. did make i did do a little mix and match though because i did the front from view C at view which is three, the pointy, which is the I'm pointy, pointy in your boobs, which, is, just to get you back. <laughs> uh, which, is, which is the pointy one, as Rachel said. We actually noticed that because we've put them in opposite ways, we're pointing at each other. <laughs> so that's quite nice. It's just because we're always thinking the same, aren't we? <laughs> so this little lovely little point, and um, but I decided not to go with the gathers, which mm -hmm. is also from view three, because I felt that the linen that I had for my fabric, it would just be too chunky at the back. It, it wouldn't sit right it would mm. be too boxy yeah i think so you made I, the right call. I went for the box pleat instead yeah which, um, which was lovely and i haven't done anything to my sleeves because that all went fine i think i took did we decide i took longer off mine or not I no i think it's just because you're taller that's all um but it looks but you've like got to keep your pockets, pockets and well, i kept my so. pockets yeah. so i'm very happy with <laughs> that so it was a great one i'm really pleased i've actually cut the blouse as well because I love the the shape of it as a blouse and I've got some beautiful white fabric which I've had for a while as well. Yeah. And I think a plain white blouse is perfect. I wear blouses and shirts all the time. Yeah. So I'm very excited to do that. It's cut, it just haven't got around to sewing it yet. Yeah. So that would be very good. Yeah, and I think I might make a blouse as well. Yeah. Um, just because I think as much as I do like this dress, I think I would actually prefer it as a blouse. I think I would get more wear out of it. Mm. Um, because I'm used to wearing slightly more fitted things and the thing with a blouse is that I could tuck it in to a pair of high-waisted trousers or skirt or something and yeah. I think that that would look really cute. Yeah, um, we just haven't got the right fabric yet. Yes, but at this dress as it is in the fabric that I've chosen, I do love and I, yeah. and I will wear, definitely. Yes, and I think I could wear this summer and winter because mm -hmm. I think it's because it is a shorter length, it's got short sleeves, so you could wear it in in this in the summer, but you could also yeah. do it in winter weight fabrics. Yeah. I think it'd be lovely in a light denim, Ooh, and, yeah, um, nice and even a baby cord or something, cord or something Ooh, like that would be very nice. I'm obsessed with so baby cord. I am obsessed. Denim <laughs> will it be navy cord, by yeah. any chance? Probably. <laughs> mix it up a bit it might be you know light blue I don't Ooh, know so dark blue, blue. <laughs> you know? and I am matching my room today you like, are look, matching. you're camouflaged where's the gum where is oh. it <laughs> Um, so yeah, we would definitely recommend this pattern. Yeah. Uh, we both cut a size 14 if you're wondering. Mm. Um, and they do look big. When you cut them yeah. out, be warned ladies, when you're sewing them together, they look like... When they're flat, they do yeah, get large. They look large. Um, but they're surprisingly, uh, they're roomy, but but they, it doesn't feel overwhelming. Yeah. So they're just, because they kind of hang from the bust down, don't they? So yeah, and then they nice. are cinched in a bit at the back with yes. the feet or the gathering. So you do get a little bit of shaping through the waist. Um, but I think it's great for when you don't want something that's that mm. fitted for when you you know just want you want to comfy. eat a roast dinner or yeah seven bars of chocolate and you yeah. want to make sure that you, <laughs> you don't have to go and change <laughs> afterwards no <laughs> but yeah it's a great pattern and uh, jennifer lauren definitely does does great instructions we yeah. were very happy to follow them and you know do our own little thing as well because she gives you room and room to do that and to yes. tweak it a little bit as well and it's a quick one good. as well so i think yeah. you could cut it out and sew it easily within two hours so yeah. it's a nice quick project definitely um, and because there isn't a lot of detail going on it's a great one to showcase the fabric so mm. if you've got a fabric that you love and you don't want any fussy details to take away from mm. that then um then yeah this would be a good pattern for that too yes so thumbs up from us thanks jennifer we loved it and uh, <laughs> we hope you do too we'll be back soon with another video bye, bye guys <laughs>